Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Benji from Benji Kim Fishing. Uh, going to be making an episode here of Getting Bit Basics. Today, we're going to be talking about how to farm sand crabs. Um, sand crabs are a great bait for a variety of species here in the Southern California coast. Anything from perch to corbina, spotfin croaker, um, even halibut sometimes, stripers if you can find them. Um, and so I'm going to be showing you some best practices to best and most easily identify and farm these guys. Uh, so stay tuned and enjoy the episode. Thanks so much. All right, guys. So uh, the first thing before we start farming sand crabs, I want to show you the tools uh, that I like to use. Um, pick up this little Fraybill um, belt bait storage box, um, any container, even a, a small little cup, whatever you think can hold the sand crabs um, will do. And uh, I got this uh, Promar, Promar net um, from Big Five. They run for like five bucks. Now, when you get to the beach, uh, the first thing you want to do, um, any, any local beach will do, especially in the heat of summer. We're still in May. The water still, the water on the, the weather is still heating up. So um, they are starting to show. Um, they're on the smaller side. First thing you want to do is when you get to stretch to the beach, um, you might want to look for some jetties. Um, or or a pier. They like to uh, store up next to the structure, but when they're out in force, they are all over the place. This beach um, is holding them pretty good. I want to show you, you want to look for the V's. Um, they look like little V's in the sand. Um, and as you can see in the video right now, you can see those ridges bumping out. Um, there's a nice little bed right in front of you. Um, now, sometimes you can confuse these with rocks, shells, or bean clams. But when you get to know uh, what the sand crabs look like, um, they are pretty distinct and you can kind of pick them out from those other things that can distract you. Um, but what you want to do, and a lot of times when the water runs past them, um, they're feeding and they're sticking out in the water um, to pick up whatever food they can get. So you can see them best as the water runs over them. This is a nice size um, sand crab here and we'll compare it to, this is even a little bit nicer too, but you compare the size. Now size isn't always everything. Um, you can see this shell is really dark and uh, that generally means it's a hard shell sand crab. The <clears throat> soft shells are going to be a lot lighter and uh, that's kind of what we're looking for. But it is nice to have a couple of these big ones, and when the bite is hot, um, you're searching for that larger size fish um, to kind of toss the bigger one out there um, to see if something can get bit. All right, guys, so um, as you're seeing in the camera, we got a healthy amount of sand crabs. Just as a reminder, the bag limit um, for sand crabs is 50 in one time, so you can farm up to 50. If you are stopped by the Department of Fish and Game um, and they check your stuff and they see that you have over 50, um, you will be issued a citation. Um, you will be given a ticket and that's uh, a couple hundred bucks that I'm sure all of us would not want to part with. All right, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by uh, the, my page. I uh, hope you found that helpful. Uh, with the sand crabs, remember the bag limit is 50, and so um, keep it to that bag limit so you don't have to uh, worry about getting a ticket. Um, but other than that, good luck out there, tight lines. Click, like, subscribe, and uh, let's go get some fish.